The president of the Saskatchewan Junior Hockey League is under fire for a fundraising effort in the wake of the Humboldt Bronco Broncos bus crash. Former leaders of the Broncos organization are calling the fund inappropriate, with one calling it, and rather going as far to call it, a, quote, disgusting and opportunistic. Laura McQuillan is following the story for us this morning. Laura, what's all this about? John, the issues that we're hearing are twofold. Some of the former board members of the Humboldt Broncos are concerned about how quickly this uh, program or fund was set up just three days after that deadly bus crash and also where the money is now going. So those are their two main concerns. This is called the Saskatchewan Junior Hockey League Assistance Program and it was established by the league's president, Bill Chow. It raised $2 million, but it's quite quite separate from that fund for the Broncos that raised $15 million. We're hearing this criticism from the former Broncos board members who say they didn't have the energy back a year ago around the time of the crash to speak out, but they are doing so now. And part of their concern is that Chow initially said that the funds would be going towards mental health and counselling for the league's players uh, up to years into the future, but he said anything left over could be used for an education fund in memory of those who were lost in the crash. For years, Bill Chow has been saying he wants to offer scholarships to entice new players to to Saskatchewan's Junior Hockey League. And these former uh, board, well, one of the former board members is saying he's worried that that is just window dressing this uh, suggestion that the mental health funds might go to education instead or to scholarships. That's the former treasurer, Darren Jewell, and he uh, spoke to CBC News. We can show you his comments. He said it was disgusting and opportunistic. That is the timing of this. To go and raise money for the league for your scholarship program, that is outrageous. I feel like he took that goodwill and abused it. Now, we've heard from the former Broncos governor as well, John. He says he doesn't have an issue with using the money for scholarships, but he does have some concerns about the timing with which this was established. What do we know about what Bill Chow has to say about all of this, Laura? Well, CBC News checked in with him and he said that $120,000 of that $2 million has been allocated. The bulk of that has gone to mental health and counselling and some of it as well to help establish a national concussion programme with the Canadian Junior Hockey League. Now last year he did say that this was going to be a long-term programme so those funds would be rolled out over years to come. He says now that the scholarship programme may be established in future but not as yet. And we have reached out to him this morning, John. We're still waiting to hear back.